So what news have you got then, James, this well, week? Well, actually, I've got some news from Korea. You yeah. can't tell, can you, that Top Gear's just been sold in Korea? No, no. <laughs> well, look, I don't think there's any evidence. I think we're smoothing it's, this one out nicely. It's not showing. Hello, you industrious little fellows. <laughs> <laughs> That's got him on side. Well yeah. done. It's yes, but do you know there was something I bought the other day and it was organic. Do you know what it had been fertilised with? Crap. Yes, human excrement from Mexicans. Not human, it's illegal. It is. Mexicans can crap on your food no. and lemons. It's organic. They're all out in the fields. No. With sombreros and ponchos <laughs> are beefocating on your bananas. Can I just say... If you're thinking of coming to America, this is what it's like. You've got your comfort in, you've got your best Western, you've got your red lobster where you eat. Everybody's very fat, everybody's very stupid, and everybody's very rude. It's not the holiday programme, it's the truth. Yes, no. Did someone say yes? Bet, yes, there's a lady here You've saying You've driven yes. a Kia Seed. I Ah. On purpose, or is it just like bad in, um, unemployment in your um, town? It's a fabulous car and it's a fabulous company. Really? <laughs> <laughs> one, yeah. You're not helping me there. No, except for one tiny detail. The Koreans eat dogs. <laughs> You're going to come down one morning and don't come crying to me if you find Top Gear Dog in a bap. <laughs> It's time for a question. And the question is, where is the best driving road in the world? Something that has everything. The challenging bends, no traffic, the great views, the long, fast straights, the lot. Yep. Uh, now, it's unlikely to be here because uh, everyone does five. It's not going to be here because everyone's on drugs. That's all just full of ox. Uh, Al Gore says that's gone, so it's not going to be down there. That's full of spiders. Signposts here are all full of gibberish. They're all communists. Can't yep. go there because the Americans will shoot you. No! Yes. no what? Thank you. All right. God, Florida's awful. Nasty insects. Old people, fat people, a lot of people who all offer you cheese. You want cheese with that? You want cheese with that? And then shoot you. What matters to lorry drivers? Murdering yeah. prostitutes? Um, and fuel economy. Low fuel economy. Breakfast. Because this is a hard job, and I'm not just saying this to win favour with lorry drivers, it's a hard job. Change gear, change gear, change gear, check your mirrors, murder a prostitute, change gear, change gear, murder, check your mirrors. That's a lot of effort in a day. Uh, started out in life, his, uh, his career, with a lorry. So, in fact, the only thing we can be sure he hasn't done is murder a prostitute. <laughs> Grand Tour, a show that cares. <laughs> this week, this week it's disabled people, and next week we're doing people who are BLT. Um, that's, that's a sandwich. <laughs> oh, no, what is it I mean? You mean LGBT? Yes, that. <laughs> That's what I meant, not BLT. No, but uh, it's uh, anyway. lesbian, gay, bacon and tomato. That's the one. I'm doing. <laughs> That's my favourite sandwich, and we're doing that next week. Mexican car's just going to be a lazy, feckless, flatulent open. <laughs> <laughs> Leaning against a fence asleep, looking at a cactus with a blanket with a hole in the middle on as a coat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting, because they... They can't do food, the Mexicans, can they? Because it's all, like, sick with cheese on it. I mean, <laughs> refried sick. Yeah, refried sick. Yes, news from Korea. They've made... Uh, High and Dye's made a new coupe, and I've got the sneaking suspicion the designer sneezed when he got here. Oh, yes. I think he may have been allergic to the spaniel in his sandwich. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> Maybe his lungs bit his ankle while he was drawing that bit. No, seriously, if you go to Korea, don't order a cauliflower cheese, because no. it won't be what you think. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just imagine waking up and remembering your Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant because you, you could just go straight back to sleep again. Oh, I'm a Mexican. I got all Mexican. Oh, I'm going to do all day. That's why we're not going to get any complaints about this because the Mexican embassy, the ambassador's going to be sitting there with a remote control like this. Brings me on to something. Children, if you're watching, um, school tomorrow, if you've got a science lesson and the teacher says, today we're going to do storage of hydrogen. Pay attention, because whoever works that out is going to be the richest person the world has ever seen. Ever. Because, honestly, when, as soon as they get the infrastructure worked out, that's just it. Yep. So if you're watching this in Saudi Arabia... <laughs> <laughs> Time to break out your camel. <laughs> it's back to carpets for you. <laughs> well, how fast were you going? 
when you I, stopped. Look, I strayed slightly you over strayed. the speed limit there, and I was caught, and they dealt with me efficiently and courteously, as befits a civilised nation, which is, of course, what France is. No. France is a country you have to drive through to get to Italy. That's all it's for. <laughs> It's, look, the no. fact of the matter is, they've got better cheese, they've got better wine, no, they they've got better they tomatoes. Have. Got be they haven't got better cheese. They are a bunch of treacherous, lamb-burning, workshy peasants. <laughs> <laughs> right. We drove deeper and deeper into Borak country. But luckily, I had bought something that would help me blend in. I'm wearing this hat, so gypsies think I am one. And that's fine. I'm just a, a lucky gypsy. Pools winning gypsy. OK, news from America, land of the free. <laughs> <laughs> um, they've announced in Florida that it's now legal, that's legal for bikers to ride their motorcycles without a crash helmet, as long as they can prove they've got $10,000 worth of health insurance. Well, that's just stupid. Apart from anything else, what's the point of insuring Americans' head when there's nothing in it? <laughs> And even James's Ferrari, the 430, was a bit wrong. That smiling front end, it looked like a simpleton. It should have been called the 430 Speciale Needs. That is a proud moment. But there's a slope on it. You're yeah, right. It's definitely higher on that side. Gingerly, we rejoined the open road. Three religions down here. George Bush, God, country and Western. In that order. Ascending order. I have felt less conspicuous than this. Here we are, sweet home Alabama. Pew, pew, pew. That'll be easy. Well, they're Italian, aren't they? They'll just lie. That's what they <laughs> say. Emissions is very important. Is it low or high? Low. OK, my emissions is one. And that's it. And that's how they'll get... They'll just lie. That they will. I just thought it would be nice for them to arrive back in the country the way their ancestors yeah, left. There's a pleasing circularity to this. Exactly. That's, that is exactly. thoughtful. That is very thoughtful. No, it is. Yeah. Jeremy, didn't you recently call bus drivers Nazis? No. No, you did, you did. You re you... I didn't. You did. I didn't. I said that they were little Hitlers and murderers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Either way, fact is, they're quite cross, and more specifically, their union leader is furious with you personally. And he's gone on record as saying that you should spend a week working as a bus driver under their working conditions for their pay. Yeah. Well, think about it. What's he done there? What he's saying is that bus drivers' working conditions and pay are dreadful. And he's their union leader. Well, who's responsible for that? <laughs> Him! Yeah. Basically, he ran to one end of the pitch, kicked it to the back of the net and went, yeah, I recognise that goalie, it's mine. I've yeah. got it, I've got it. <laughs> what an idiot. He is. But you've driven a bus, haven't you? Yes, lots. Lots How of bus drivers. How hard drivers. is it? Easiest thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Is it as easy as sitting here? Yeah. It's easier, actually, because you're not being filmed. So you can have a joint. No, sorry. <laughs> this is what springs to mind when we think about Romania. Not that we do very often. We imagine it's full of oxes and people throwing stones at gypsies. We should do a car that's quintessentially German. Well, just replace the spoons with little sausages. No, no. <laughs> Give it trafficators that go like that. <laughs> <laughs> a sat nav that only goes to Poland. Oh. <laughs> and fine the fan belts have been lost for a thousand years. <laughs> no, I don't think so. This is my genius. 
at some point on this trip, Hammond's Bombay doors are going to break. We know that. We're going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere, and he is going to beg me for use of this. And what I've done in there... Is yeah, what? I... No, there's like an ice bucket. You fill it up with chemicals. This is the best thing I've ever seen fitted to a car in India. Everybody who comes here gets the trots. Yeah. Now for the news. Uh, you might notice we've got some new furniture uh, and a new telly. <laughs> now, the problem is, you see, there was a fire at our storage depot. You might have seen it in the papers. Mm. And nearly all of our props got destroyed. Yeah, and the, uh, the police are saying, as you can see here, that it was arson. Yeah, but, I mean, who do that? It's not like we've ever upset anyone. I know. <laughs> Well, there was the vicar whose tree I rammed in the Toyota pickup truck. Yeah, and everyone in Wales, and everyone in Birmingham, and everyone in America. Yeah. And while we were making this series, actually, we managed to upset the Coast Guard, who said that we've ruined the English Channel. Vauxhall Vectra. Anyone got one? Who? Who says you have? <laughs> and you're a big chap. Yes, it's a nice I car. You... <laughs> good, good choice. Sir. I may have been wrong about that earlier. Um, well, which one would you have? Which one would you steal? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a car for you, is it? I changed from first to third on my pre-selection gearbox, which means technically I short-shifted. When I say short, I don't mean that. Like you, it, I'm not being rude. You, you, you keep saying it's short. No, no, yeah. I meant I short-shifted. I didn't know. I wasn't being clever. Go. A bit of Christian motoring there. That man wanted to pull out. Let him pull out. What comes around goes around. He who is last shall be first. Oi! Shuffing bus driving bullying Nazi. Why don't you just wait and give your passengers a better ride? There's going to be a rival for this. You know the car we looked at last week? The Kia C apostrophe D. Well, look at this. This is the... They're calling it the Proceed GT. I think that looks rather good. It does. And it's two grand yeah. less than the Volkswagen. Yeah, nearly three grand less, actually. Is it? Oh. Yeah. And I, I, the thing I like about that is they haven't gone absolutely mad with it. It's a 1.6 litre turbo, 200 horsepower, which is, well, actually... Well, no, it's not what? horsepower, that's Korean. Yes, yeah, it's dog it's, power. It's, yeah, yeah it's, it's dog power. <laughs> Never had. London today has just been empty. Everybody <laughs> stayed at home, you could whiz about, your yeah. restaurants were empty. The traffic actually has been very good today. It's very light. Now, in airports, yeah. people s streaming through with no problems at all. It's, it's, and it's also like being back in the 70s, but it feels like at home somehow. Yeah. Do yeah. you know well, anybody... Do you know anyone who's been on stage yeah. there? Of course I don't. No. What, somebody in public service? No, I don't. Yeah. No, absolutely. And I'm, we have to balance it, though, don't we? Because this is the BBC. And exactly. The... Well, we, yes, exactly. <laughs> Frankly, I'd have them all shot. <laughs> I would take them outside and execute them in front of their families. I mean, how dare they go on strike when they've got these gilt-edged pensions that are going to be yeah. guaranteed while the rest of us have to work for a living? Yeah. <laughs> well, on that note of balancing... In the... First, I want to say a couple more things about that Bentley. You see, you said there it was like a slab of old England. Yeah. Yes. But Bentley is owned by VW. Yeah. That car was styled by a Belgian, and it was engineered by a man called Ulrich Eichhorn. <laughs> Doesn't sound very British. Are you presenting it? Top Gear, or are you writing a letter to the Daily Telegraph? Well, I'm just saying that you know immediately that that car is German, because it's got too much power. They've overdone it, as usual, like they did on their French holiday in 1939. James! <laughs> James the Queen is German, but yes. you don't sing Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber Alice every time she comes on the television, do you? Well, I do, actually. Yeah, he yes. does. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. There's a nigga, all these two windy squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. A short while later, the three of us had got the bridge finished. That is a proud moment, um, Hammond, but... Is it straight? Yes. Yes. No, we've got a picture of it here. And yes, the thing about one. it is, they use pale colours. They've got pale coloured seats, pale coloured carpets, pale wood, and that makes it feel light and airy and spacious. Yeah. The only problem is that in one of those, you couldn't enjoy a chocolate magnum ice cream. It's all right, I don't eat ice cream. I think it's something to do with being straight. <laughs> what? What? Why are you applauding him? What's that? What do you mean? Are you saying everyone who likes ice cream? Well, I mean, so ice, ice cream is a bit, you know. You're saying all children are homosexual. No. <laughs> but 
I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but a grown man eating an ice cream, it's, you know, it's a bit, it's that, it's that way rather than that way. It just, <laughs> it is. Welcome to the inside of Richard Hammond's head. I'm right. I can't believe you is. can't see that. It's a fact, it's easy. It's I'm bothered, thanks. Anyway, listen, this is the big question I guess everybody wants to know. Are you ready? Are you now a mental? No! <laughs> I'm not. I'm fixed. I'm completely fixed and normal and healed. Thank you. What are you doing? Well, you know, it's a, it's a tissue for if you start dribbling. <laughs> That's all I've had for four months. What, tissues? No. People hanging around just watching, waiting for my eyes to point in different directions for me to go bonkers. I'm fixed. I'm normal. Are you? <laughs> anyway, they're coming back, not to Le Mans. Uh, they are, in fact, taking part in the Dakar rally using a pickup truck. Got a picture of it here. But we're not particularly interested in the car. What we are interested in are the people who will be driving it. They're all completely gay looking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at their arms and his pose and everything. Their outfits. <laughs> Do they know what the Dakar rally is like? It's very rough out there and sandy and gritty and it ruins your skin. It's awful. They'll have spare tyres and that hand cream and facial yeah. scrub, won't they? He's not going to be looking like that when he gets back. <laughs> <laughs>do you not think there is here a case for the burke ah, because the, burke, the problem yeah. goes away no with the burke, no no, no honestly be... honestly the burke doesn't it doesn't work because i was in a cab in piccadilly the other day okay a woman in a full burke crossing the road in front of me or in front of the cab tripped over the sort of pavement went head over heels face over apex. yeah and up it came red g-string stockings <laughs> I happened. promise. You're it, lying. I did it. Promise. No, it did. Did you see this incident on DVD or pay per view? Because <laughs> it, it didn't the taxi, the taxi driver will back me up on that. He, well, he, he was in the cinema with you. <laughs> Tallest race on earth now, the Dutch. Officially. Mind you, they do take a lot of drugs. That's why they like Top Gear so much. Hello, Dutchy. OK, uh, here it is. Big story saying that uh, homosexuals are banned from the Top Gear studio audience. Now, seriously, honestly, I've never read such rubbish in my life, ever. Now, it is true. <laughs> even split of men and women in the audience. Otherwise, it's a little bit like the early days when we only got the Subaru Owners yes. Club, and that's a bit grisly. But we do not actually insist that you sleep with the person you come to the studio with. No, I mean, often, you know, <laughs> mums come down with their, with their sons, mm. and we're not suggesting that... You know, no, that's, no, no, we're not. But we're, everybody's welcome. Exactly. Uh, the truth is, we welcome homosexual couples. Yeah. We do. We particularly like the lesbian sort. Oh, God. <laughs> No, no, no. I saw a film about lesbians on the internet once. Oh, God. <laughs> it looked very interesting. <laughs> the interesting thing about the French nation, I think because they are essentially peasants and communists, is that they are quite good at the fairly small and fairly simple car. 
You see, right now I'm driving through a tiny little village, very rural, miles from any big city. And if this were America, it would be full of people doing whatever it is they do. Incest, mostly. But way to do that, they extended the windscreen back halfway along the car, so they look ungainly. No, it's because the French and the French always like to be first. They didn't know how to do the roof thing. It's like the French did that first face transplant. You know? Yes. Oh, we don't know what we're doing. We have the bottom of a baboon. We'll put it on. There we are. It's a face one. We are first. And now, ladies and gentlemen, behold, to bask in the turbulence of my magnificence. <laughs> this is my ad. <laughs> A state of emergency has been declared in Poland today as the mass exodus continues. Sources in Warsaw report mass panic as those left in the city make increasingly frantic efforts to escape. Thousands of people have jammed roads and crammed into trains. Military leaders say that they have abandoned all their control. The situation is the worst of its nightmare. The army says it's now powerless to prevent the ongoing mass exodus. Clarkson's description of Gordon Brown as a one-eyed Scottish idiot has been branded offensive by a charity for the blind. Clarkson made the comments in Australia where he's hosting Top Gear Live, a stage version of the BBC television show. I was brilliant. I've never seen such a nervous man. He looked confident. <laughs> that is the first time I've ever seen a world leader admit we really are in deep. He didn't he use words, that, but... did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We've announced a series of packages. <laughs> You genuinely look terrified. I thought, poor man, he's actually seen the books. <laughs> In England, we have this one-eyed Scottish idiot. Uh, I've said that now. You've said that out loud as well, yeah, you have. Well, the one-eyed Scottish man, um, he keeps telling us everything's fine and he's saved the world. And we know he's lying, but he's smooth at telling us. Whereas old Kevin last night, he really did look frightened. He didn't frightened. carry off the line bit. No, this was easy. Oh, my God. But then, one day, in Paris, there was a meeting. Messieurs, oh. the time has come for us to stop making this spotty car. Mon dieu. Sacre bleu. But what shall you do instead? Uh, Coltangers, umbrella. How is this for a plan? We make terrible cars in every way, horrible. Maybe très ugly. Oh, well, well. Yeah, well. the engine très horrible. Oh, nasty, the unreliable, yeah. uncomfortable. Et l'intérieur. Uh, Fabric en spit et Kleenex. Spit et Kleenex, oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. C'est une bonne idée, n'est-ce pas? Oh, oui. Ne regardez pas un cadeau de cheval dans la bouche. Monsieur, salut la voiture horrible. Oh. Ah. And get the chef the suspension up here so we can fire him immediately. Oh, yes. This breakfast meeting will put Peugeot on the map for many years to come. Make no mistake. <laughs> Honestly, things I'd rather do than drive one of those include presenting next week's show while gently cupping James's scrotum. <laughs> and we're, we're off the air in Korea. Yeah, goodbye. Industrious little fellows. Oh. Um, oh, give me a minute. I'm going to have trouble shifting that vision now. Let's...